Welcome to this edition of Pets on Parade. I'm Jackie Williams for MCTV, and we're glad that you could join us again this month. We're here at the Humane Society of the Treasure Coast. We're outside, which is great, and we're in their agility field, and you can see some of the events behind me. Um, we're going to have some dogs that are right here at the Humane Society who have learned to do agility. So stay with us because these dogs are great. Siri uh, is a dog here at the Humane Society and uh, she's going to do the hurdles and she'll jump. There she goes, good. And now again, and uh, the hurdles can be adjusted so that a bigger dog can jump higher. But Sari's little, so they have the hurdles low. Sari is a dog who is here at the Humane Society. Here we are at the A-frame. You can see the dogs going over the A-frame. And we're with um, Sean, who's one of our regulars at the uh, Pets on Parade. Sean, tell us about, this is Athena. Hi, Jackie. Yes, this is Athena. Athena is an 11-month-old female pit bull terrier mix. As you can see, she's <laughs> speedy. Good. She's very she's speedy. Good. And she's, she's very, she listens <laughs> oh, she very well. She went under that one. <laughs> she went under. She listens really well. She's, she has good eye contact. You'll watch her there with Heidi. She's doing a great job. Cool. She's doing a great very job. Very nice. All right, here's Jerry, and Jerry's a four-year-old stray. He's got a little shepherd mix in him. He's not been here very long, but he does not like the kennel environment at all. But you get him outside, and he's a totally different dog. He's sweet as can be, very smart. He needs a home. And he's stuck in it. There he comes out of the tunnel. <laughs> he's a sweet boy. I love him. I just feel so bad because he does not like the kennel environment. He barks, and people walk by, and they think he's not a good dog, but he's really a good dog. And, and he's, he's very pleasant out here. We're going to see uh, Joan, Joan of Arc. Arc. She's got her to toy right now, so I'm not sure we're going to get her. She's going to bring it to us. <laughs> but this is the first time that she's been on the dog walk, um, which is the piece of equipment we see here. Right. Now, in practice, she did it. We'll see if she does it again. She'll do it. Tell she's us a, about She's her. a great dog. She's really friendly. She knows sit. She's very gentle taking food. She's a stray, so we don't know that terribly much about her. She's been here since March. She, um, she's five years old. She's about 65 pounds. Um, she has some ear infections. <laughs> she doesn't want, she doesn't she want doesn't to want do, to do it, it now. I know. Um, and one of the people that takes care of her there said she, she just lays there, there to have medicine put in her ears. She's such a good dog. Oh, she did good. Yeah, she did great. You ready? Okay, now this is Luna, and Luna's going to go in the pool. She loves the pool. Tell us about Luna. Luna's one year old. She came to us through a transfer from another shelter. Um, she's picky about her dog friends, and we cannot have cats around her at all. <laughs> no cats. No, but she's young. She's only a year old. She's really smart. Heidi's making a lot of headway with her. Um, she's just a really sweet dog. I don't, we don't know why she's still here. You know, it's amazing that these dogs respond so to Heidi. It really is a great thing to she's, have this program. Absolutely, absolutely. She's great with these dogs. She works with them at least three times a week, and that's going to so much better their chance of getting adopted because they're going to learn some skills, learn to sit, stay. And when they get out here, they just turn into dogs. They just have fun. Right, exactly. They're not cooped up in a kennel. They run free. They're off leash. It's a, to it's a transformation from what they look like on the inside. And she loves the pool. Yeah, she does love the water. <laughs> She's funny. We need to fill it up a little bit more so she can swim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bobbing for hot dogs. Yeah, right. <laughs> there she goes. She's yeah. getting hot dogs. She's getting hot dogs. All right. Thank you for bringing Luna, right? Yes, Luna. Luna out. Great. Joining us now is Heidi. And Heidi, tell us your last name. My name is Heidi Fisher. Okay. And you're the dog trainer here. Yes, I have. I've been the dog trainer here for almost 10 years now. I've been affiliated with the Humane Society for about 17 years. I've done volunteer work first, and then I was joined their pet therapy group. And then I worked under a lot of trainers that were here. And then I became a trainer here about 10 years ago. Cool. This program of taking the dogs in the shelter and utilizing the agility field uh -huh. is really terrific. It is. We're very, very fortunate to have this agility field um, for the dogs to um, get some of their um, excitement and energy out. Um, unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, we're having a new uh, dog playground area, but we're down for runs, so this is really coming really handy for them to uh, to get some of their um, um, 
you know, all their excitement out and being cooped up in their in their kennels. In kennel. Yeah. And but but also it's a chance for them to relate to a human mm -hmm. and to respond to commands mm -hmm. and to understand the concept of do the thing and reward. Exactly. Yes, it's a great enrichment program for them. Um, it even brings a lot of the shy dogs out of their shells. Um, a lot of them are really timid and shy and, and, and worry about wor walking on different surfaces like maybe we were talking about earlier today. and. Um, jumping and trusting people so it's good for all for for hyper dogs for shy dogs um it's it's really good for for all the dogs in there um and we also um we just received a nice uh, donation for a pool so now we have a little pool for them to go in in the summertime to relax and get cooled they off cool after off. Yeah, it's I know. Hot out here. <laughs> yeah it does get so and and in the summertime we don't do as much as this and we do um, nose work inside we do nose work for enrichment for the dogs and that's an air conditioning inside the education building so we do that so we have a lot of enrichment programs here that um, that we really um, really excel with so which I'm is really happy with which yeah. is one of the reasons that when someone adopts a dog from here they already have some training and it makes it easier for the Hopefully, adopter. Yes, absolutely, yeah. And we're always here to uh, help them if they ever need any help. They, we have a hotline that they can call if they're having problems after the adoption. And we're always willing to uh, help them through some challenges that they may see. When's your next obedience class? Uh, my obedience classes have just started up now. So my new ones will start up in June and they fill up quick. So I have some new ones starting up like June 3rd and June 8th. We also uh, teach trick classes here. We teach um, scent work, which is really good. Any dog can do that at any age. And that's uh, new and coming up an event that uh, AKC has brought up. And so a lot of the uh, people are really getting involved in scent work. So that's something good to do in the summertime when agility is too hot to sure. do in the summer. So Okay, so June, coming mm -hmm. up in June. June yep. And it's really important, obedience is really important if you're a new dog owner. Yes, yes. It, it helps you bond with your dog, um, not only just play and you're not just running around, but it actually builds a bond for you and your dog. You um, become a partner. Yeah, a team. You become yeah. a team. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's fun, you know, and it gives you exercise. It's better exactly. than going to the gym. I'm not into going <laughs> exactly. to the gym, so. <laughs> Heidi, we want to thank you for, yeah, for doing thanks, this today. The dogs were great. Thanks for coming our dogs. And yeah. we'll have you back on again. Sure. Okay. Great. Thanks for coming. Joining us now is Tracy, and Tracy is our critter person, and you you can't come on Fridays when we normally tape, so you haven't been here Correct. a long time. Correct. Yeah, now, I do miss it, but I'm, I volunteer here for four hours every Friday, so I need to be here with my critters. Right. Now, who <laughs> is this critter? He's very cute. This is Nugget. He's been with us for almost three weeks, and he was surrendered because he was extremely sick and he had he was missing a toe so he was having problems walking so he was in foster for about two weeks and he should be cleared soon and up for adoption because he's overcome his little handicapped toe he doesn't fall over anymore and uh, he's no longer sick as you can see he's uh, nibbling on me he nibbled on me too <laughs> But he's just a baby, so he'll, he'll get a little bit bigger, but he's a super sweet guy, very friendly. Now, how old is he? He's probably about two months at okay. this point. Okay, and, and what is he? He's a guinea pig. Guinea pig, okay. Guinea pig. Yeah, usually the guinea pigs are so bigger. bigger. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. He'll get bigger. So this is our critter for today. This is our critter for today. Now, you guys have some critters here, and we can hear them in the background, <laughs> yes, you that can. I do not like. I know. I know. You have some chickens. Well, we technically have roosters. Okay. Um, we, you never know what we're going to get here. We do get birds in. Um, lately, we have had a lot of farm animal type roosters, chickens, um, pigs. We've had um, some ducks. Uh, you, really, you never know what is going to appear here. But lately, it's been a lot of chickens and roosters and pigs. So. Okay, so so we got some roosters here. Anybody interested in getting woken up? You know, they're like an alarm clock. So come on over and see if you can get some roosters. Absolutely. Okay. Um, we, I think it was about two months ago, 
we had a pig mm -hmm. on the show, little tiny pig. Yeah. Now, I have been coming to look for a dog, and I noticed that the pig is gone, so I'm assuming... The pig has been adopted. Do you know who adopted the pig? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure we'll get email updates because we get we do get updates from a lot of our adopters. So, um, yeah. you know, I'm sure we'll, we'll hear about him. Well, the, the pig was really cute. Yeah. And um, I was glad when he wasn't here anymore because I felt bad for him. So yeah. I'm glad yeah. he got adopted. Yep. All right. Well, thanks, Tracy. We're Thank glad you. that you're, we were able to see you today. And come see Nugget. And take care of all those critters. Will do. We'll be right back. We're going to go into the cat room and we're going to show you some great cats. Now we're here in the cat room. Mm -hmm. This is the cat room. Um, and this is where you keep all the, the cats, except for the ones that are in the showcase room. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And. Um, we're, we're going to talk about some really special cats today, cats who have been here for a long time. Yeah. Talk about them. Well, I'm really excited that you guys are here at the shelter today because there's some cats that we would love to put on camera, but they won't necessarily be okay in the car ride going to, you know, MCTV. So um, we brought you guys here so we can showcase some of our cats. They've been here, some, some of them has been here over a year. Uh -huh. um, and I think Lisa, the one that we're going to show next, has been here um, pretty much either a year, right over a year. Okay. Um, some of them have some special needs, some special diets, um, medical, some special sassiness to them. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're just going to show a few, and hopefully we can get them adopted, because these are long-term cats we're showing. Okay, good. All right, now Lisa, we're going to let Lisa do what Lisa wants to Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and Linda is kind of the caretaker for Lisa. Lisa and Lisa Linda does. know each other very well. She yes. seems to like Linda. And so Lisa responds to her. She's going to eat a little breakfast here. Lisa's somewhat of a social eater. Lisa was not frightened when she first came to us. But the longer Lisa's been in a cage, and she's going on 13 months with us here, they become very possessive of their cage. They're protective. They do not want anyone in there. They're frightened. And this is a kitty that if you took home and gave her a lot of patience and a lot of time, she would be the perfect kitty. because. As I've gotten to know her, she will come out. I came in on Tuesday, the volunteer before me said, Lisa's not in a good mood today, be careful. So I went over to talk to her, and next thing I know, she was wanting me to calm her. And she'll let you know when she wants calm. She now she wants to go back in her house. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you see the kind of house we give her? We give her all the protection and privacy she needs. Cool. But she's doing so much better. And good. you know, Jackie, um, she is in, it's called a Kitty Casa house, Kitty mm -hmm. Casas. Um, we always need uh, donations for Kitty Casas because um, we can use beds, but once we use the beds and, you know, like the beds that have the cover so they can hide, a after every cat, we have to wash them um, in our laundry and do, you know, all of that. The kitty, kitty casas are really good because they're plastic and they're very homey and they're very comfortable and we can wipe it down. So if a cat is uh, sneezing, we can wipe it down every day to make sure to, you know, get that going. Okay, so, mm -hmm. good. All right. I don't know if you caught it, Jackie. Just now, Lisa had enough of me and everyone else in this room. <laughs> and when I went back in to introduce myself again to her, she said, no way. Yeah, I'm going out of here. <laughs> OK. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. All right, now we're at Rosie's cage, because Rosie also doesn't like to come out of the cage. So Lou, you take care of Rosie. Tell us a little bit about her. Yeah, Rosie is a, a, a seven-year-old cat, uh, seven years and uh, four months. And she came to us uh, a year ago, a year ago. And um, she's also a, a lovely, wonderful, friendly cat, but she's been in this condo for a while. And she's also getting a little bit antsy. So she has good days and bad days. She'd be a great pet for someone um, in a quiet home, no children, uh, maybe the only cat. Um, as you can see, she's letting me she's pet her head. She's sleeping now. But she when she's says, had this enough, is nice. Yeah, when she's had enough, you, she'll let you know. But she's she a says, great cat. Nice. We really need to find a good home for her. Um, 
in case you're, you're wondering about the music that's playing behind me, it's... Uh, yeah, it's driving me nuts. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's music that scientifically is proven to calm the cats down, the certain tones that they play. So okay. we, we keep the music going on all day. And, um, well, she's going to go to sleep now. She's going to go to sleep. She loves her Coranda bed. And this is also another thing that um, the shelter can always mm -hmm. use. Um, uh, donations are always welcome for these Coranda beds. They, they feel safe under them. And, and they we can go get on them. top. And they well. can get on top. And, and uh, she's pretty comfortable in, in this. She's called this home for a long time. So we've we got to get Rosie a, a, yeah. a good home. She has lovely eyes. She keeps looking at me. She says, what are you doing here? Yes. <laughs> well, thanks she's a great for, cat. Thanks for showing her. Thank she's you. She's a cutie. Thank you, Real Jackie. Cutie. Okay, now we're here with Nancy. And, Nancy, we've got a cat who actually does come out of his cage. Yes, he'll, he will jump down if mm -hmm. you leave his cage open. Uh, he's 12 years old. Tell us what his name is. He's Mike. Mike? Yes. And like has, our Mike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he uh, is 12 years old, and he also is on uh, KD for his kidneys. Mm -hmm. That's, that's uh, bought in the pet store. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he's the sweetest cat. He loves to drink out of the spigot. If I turn oh, that on, that's, that's why he's why. going over there. Oh. Right. Can, and, we, can we do that? I can yeah. turn it over. You can turn it over. Just a little, little bit, and he will drink it. <laughs> he loves to do that. that. Is and so he is one of the cute. sweetest cats. He puts his yeah. head in it. Yeah, he's been here since February. I don't know why he hasn't been adopted yet. He's the sweetest thing. But, and he has his little cow markings, too. Well, you know, you just keep him happy by <laughs> put him by your kitchen sink and turn the water on. Right, out. right. And Isn't he uh, cute? when we let him out, he'll walk all around and he'll you know, survey everything in yeah. the room. And uh, he's just a sweetie. Yeah. And he has beautiful markings. All right, and tell us his name again. Mike, and Mike. he's 12 years old. <laughs> he's 12 years he's old. He's 12. Yeah. Well, but he's sweet. He will stay there till he's done drinking. <laughs> and Mike, I'm gonna turn it off now, Mike. So we can get your face, sweetie. Yeah. He has a little mustache. Yeah, he, yeah, I don't know if you can pull his head up so he can yeah. see it. Okay, yeah, we got it. <laughs> There he is. There he he's goes. gorgeous. Mike, 12 Mike. years old. Yes, and he's been and here. And will drink out of a faucet. Yep. All yeah, right. That's his trick. <laughs> that's his trick. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. You're yeah, we'll try to get Mike adopted. Thank you. You know, um, I know you guys want to get the cats adopted, um, but it's wonderful that all of you people take the time to get to know all of these difficult cats. And, you know, look at uh, Mike. He's 12. There's a chance of him getting adopted. It's, you know, it's kind of little. Um, and for him to be able to stay here and have you guys care for him and do what he wants to do, that's just wonderful. Just wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. We love them all. All right, we're here with Debbie. Debbie, thanks for joining us. And we have another cat who's a little more comfortable in his cage. Yes, this is Tigger. Uh-huh. And he's a big old orange guy. He was surrendered to us back in um, February. He had a very bad upper respiratory, which we treated, and he's doing really great. He's very mellow. He's a big old orange guy. Look at him. Very yeah, sweet. Yeah. 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 Um, he's on his kitty casa, which we can always use donations of, and you can get them at Amazon or kittycasa.com because they like to sit on top of them or go in them. Um, it makes them feel secure in the shelter. It's very stressful for the cats to be in the shelter. Um, but we try to do our best. They have their little private uh, litter box over there. Um, they have a shelf, and um, we do our best to keep them happy and loved and cared for. And another note about Tigger is he is declawed. So if anybody's looking for a declawed kitty, come in and meet Tigger and take him home. Okay, so t t tell us again how old Tigger is. Tigger is 10. Okay. Yes. So he is very mellow. Yeah, he's and a very he's a mellow boy. Cat. Yes. And in a home environment, he'll probably be a little bit more unafraid. Uh, yes, yes. He'll, but he'll, being a senior, he is very mellow, and so you don't have to worry about him hanging on your curtains. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Tigger, we'll see if we can get you adopted, too. 
Okay, thanks for joining us again this month. Um, we hope that you enjoyed the show, and we want to remind you that if you're looking for an animal, make sure you check here at the Humane Society of the Treasure Coast, right in Palm City. Uh, you can see all these great cats and all those great dogs that we saw out on the agility field. I'm Jackie Williams for MCTV. Remember, take care of all those pets out there.